With so many good revolvers out there, we barely know which are actually the best of the best. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the eight best concealed carry revolvers in the world. Number eight, Chartered Arms Bulldog. This is one of the best solutions if you're looking for a great weapon for the security of your home and yourself. Gun fans are well aware of its dependability and stopping power. After being used in eight shootings in New York by the 44 caliber killer, also known as David Berkowitz, this firearm gained notoriety. Eh, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, though. With a two and a half inch barrel, this handgun is perfect of a size for hiding. This gun is a little bit larger than the 38 Special because it weighs roughly 21 ounces, but when combined with some of the more contemporary ammo, it makes an excellent personal defense cartridge. If you're seeking a revolver that is safe, dependable, and powerful enough to protect you from deadly threats, go no further. Number 7. S&W J-Frame The J-Frame revolver was created for close quarters combat. When used as a tool for threat neutralization rather than for long-range target shooting, it swiftly acquires target and can be discharged. It can be used like a point-and-shoot weapon due to its ease of operation. To use it, not a lot of knowledge is required. Some weapons, like the Model 60 or Model 64 Pro, now have night sights for self-defense in poorly lit areas. Another natural benefit of the J-Frame is how it can easily be concealed. Few pistols may be camouflaged as effectively or with as much ease, which has long been recognized as a benefit of this revolver. The J-Frame may be effortlessly tucked into the waistband when used in an IWB holster or a pocket holster. One is still regularly carried in an ankle holster as a backup weapon. Revolvers can be more trustworthy than semi-automatic pistols, and the Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolver ain't no exception. Revolvers periodically need maintenance, like any handgun, but high-quality examples are renowned for always going bang when you actually need them to. Others prefer to rely on tried-and-true design principles in their revolvers or anything else, while some people may object to the simplicity of the mechanical design. Because they often require less upkeep, some people, of course, prefer vintage automobiles. And some antique weapons, just like some antique cars, are classics for good reasons. Depending on the model that you select, few concealed carry pistols weigh as little as an S&W J-Frame. Since many years ago, lighter versions of the handgun have been manufactured, and now, thanks to temp contemporary metallurgy, some of them are now incredibly light. Number 6. Colt King Cobra From 1986 to 1992, Colt built the King Cobra, aka the Colt Agent, on a medium-sized V-frame. It was made of very high-grade carbon steel and had the brand's recognizable, dazzling, highly polished, deep royal blue finish. Matte stainless steel was an option from 1987 to 1992, and from 1994 to 1998, and from 1988 to 1992. Polished stainless steel also became an option. King Cobras have an extra-large target-style walnut grips or hard rubber black figure grooved battle grips, and the target hammer is also pretty big. Extra large, some would say. The Cobra siding system contains a fixed iron red insert, front sight, and a fully adjustable iron white outline rear sight. Several barrel lengths have been offered over time depending on the finish option chosen. Number 5. S&W M&P Bodyguard 38 The hammerless Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard 38 is designed for covert use. The revolver has a built-in red trace laser and is small and light. For the needs of personal protection, it offers the ideal blend of clarity and accuracy. The gun's hammerless design offers a snag-free display, and its lightweight construction enables covert carrying. If necessary, this tiny gentleman, which is chambered in 38 Special Plus P, can cause some harm. Due to its small 1.9-inch barrel, the five-shot revolver's total length is a thin 6.6 .6 inches, and its empty weight is a light 14.4 ounces. It really is enjoyable to use, and it's pretty lightweight and portable. Number 3. Charter Arms Undercover Charter rose to fame thanks to its enduring 30 undercover. Today, the popular 38 specials from the Charter family have grown to meet the preferences and requirements of a wide spectrum of shooters. Because of their lighter weight, 2-inch barrels, and improved safety features, these versatile 38 specials are ideal for concealed carry circumstances. It strikes the perfect proportion between size, weight, and stopping power. Whatever model you choose, the Charter 38 Specials, according to the company, provide unmatched personal safety and peace of mind. The Charter Arms Uncover Light is an interesting alternative. The Undercover Light weighs only 12 ounces but has exceptional stopping power. The Undercover Light offers proven ruggedness and comfort thanks to its sturdy steel and an aircraft-grade aluminum construction. The 2-inch barrel of this 5-shot ultra-lightweight 38 Special can be specified with a traditional spurred hammer or a double-action-only hammer. It also features fixed sights. Ultimately, the firearm we previously discussed, Charter Arms Undercover and Charter Arms Bulldog, 
are all stupidly well made, awesome guns, can't go wrong with them, bada bing, bada baga baga boom. I made that up, don't, don't quote me. Number three, Taurus 85. Despite some people's unfavorable opinions about Taurus, the 85 is an excellent revolver. It's a cost-effective revolver with all the required shooting features, that has a cylinder that can hold regular 5 rounds, a 2-inch barrel, and an overall length of 6.5 inches. Its chamber is capable of holding the reliable 38 Special Plus P even, though it weighs only 22.2 ounces more. See, this weight helps to lessen recoil. Because of the Plus P, you can employ some hotter loads to achieve superior performance on target, wink wink. Ooh. One of the factors contributing to the weight is the fact that it's entirely made of stainless steel, but this only increases the dependability and durability. It also has a fashionable appearance thanks to the matte finish. It includes a practical and cozy polymer grip. You have easy control of the muzzle flip, which is especially important when working with hotter loads. Although not the greatest on the market, the front sights are effective at preventing snagging as self-defense shooting is more often a point-and-shoot scenario. It doesn't actually matter that much. You might experience some stacking when you pull the trigger because this revolver costs less than $300. But that's not too much, I don't think. Number 2. The Ruger LCR By combining cutting-edge technology with the durable materials you frequently see in older wheel gun platforms, the Ruger LCR is an excellent example of a snub rose revolver that blends traditional with ultra-modern design characteristics. The 38 Special Plus P ammo fits five rounds inside the 13.6 Ruger LCR. The snub nose revolver has several features, including a polymer fire control housing and a notchback, a double action only functioning system, and a hidden hammer. According to Ruger, the friction reduction cam of the Ruger LCR trigger assures a smooth and non stacking pull. You can also purchase Ruger LCR variants with Crimson Trace or Hogue Tamer grips if you'd like. Strangely, one of the reasons we believe this weapon is superior to the Ruger LCR 2 is that the LCR 2 is more expensive. But isn't a more expensive gun better? Well, compared to the great LCR-2, the original Ruger LCR literally has better cost-to-value ratio than the LCR-2, so yeah, wait. How much does this weapon really cost? The maker has a suggested retail price of more than $700. We believe that this price is actually reasonable for a gun with all these features while still being a fantastic concealed carry weapon. Number 1. Smith & Wesson Model 36 this little revolver was first made available to the public in 1950 at the International Association of Chiefs Police Conference. It was primarily designed for use by individuals in plain clothes and off-duty police officers. The Smith & Wesson sales team asked the police chiefs to vote at the conference on the name for the revolver. 38 Chief Special was the nickname that was used the most. However, when Smith & Wesson started utilizing model numbers in 1957, the Chief Special was called the Model 30. These little revolvers can shoot at full strength and are as hassle-free and simple to operate as they are dependable, lightweight, and stupendously easy to use. Given its availability in a variety of calibers and three different hammer techniques, the Smith & Wesson J-Rise frames to prominence as the most popular small frame defense revolver on the market, that ain't surprising. Then again, shooting that subscribe button is 10 times better than shooting a Smith & Wesson 36. You know what I mean? Better than any gun ever. I mean, don't you want more quality videos like these? Plus, knowing the best revolvers is great, but it's not worth it if you don't know which are the best handguns, including semi-autos. Shameless plug, go watch our other video.